Hey, what's up guys? It's the last expired here and in today's video we've got yet another teamwork to do. So it is again myself and Puddin. I'm in my flint that I pretty recently got for the what is it, sixth season of ranked, so it was my third time reaching rank one. And I believe I believe this was about my five my fifth or sixth game. And uh, Puddin is in his Hiryu. So, uh, disclaimers, first of all, I do have my Des Moines captain in here, so I am cheating a little bit, I guess you could say. But, uh, yeah, just want to get that out of the way. So, I've got a very uh, high-level captain, 19 points to be exact, and Puddin is in his Hiryu, as I mentioned a little before. When I first did this recording, I thought that uh, Puddin had Concealment Expert, because our plan was actually to go into that middle of the island you're looking at right now, in the middle. We plan to uh, go up right there and basically just wreck havoc. Uh, I would just keep Puddin smoke the whole time, and he could just throw his planes. But we ended up picking this island right here, just to my right. You can see Puddin pushing up very, very close, and I actually expected him to slow down a bit. But he's actually going to run right into the island. But, uh, yeah, this is basically where we're going to stay the whole game. And boy, is it hilarious. And, well, so we're already one cruiser down. Nuremberg went out and died. I mean, this, this position is very strong, though, because you are able to shoot at a lot. Especially in the flint, you are able to shoot a lot with out taking all that much in return um, so that, that's that's why I like the spot in particular especially for a smoke cruiser like the flint but right up uh, right about now is when I realized oh shit button we have two carriers in the game because I because I, I see some strike planes from it looks like the enemy hear you and then I also see fighters with like six or seven aircraft uh, f fighters in on like here you doesn't have that so yeah we are in a double carrier game we didn't really expect this nor did we even notice it so that was a bit unfortunate but I managed to get what is that 15 planes down already with one defensive fire so that was the first attack that was on Puddin he's in smoke now he's safe but uh, the, the nice thing, though, is that he is concealed in my U.S. smoke, so uh, it, it is quite good. And I've got jack-of-all-trades as well as the flag, so it there's very little downtime between when my smoke is uh, out and when it's back up again. But I'm actually going to move out of it. I'm going to circle around and smoke put in again, because that's what the plan is. That's what I'm doing this whole game. It's literally just me smoking Puddin and just trying to stay alive. My goal, this this mask was just completely try to keep Puddin alive. So, while, while he is doing some very stressful work, I am trying to kill some of the AA, like I'm shooting at this Lana. Uh, but I'm also shooting at the destroyers because they can launch torpedoes. Alright, a little bit of a glitch there. Not too sure what happened. Must have been the recording. But I'm I'm just going to try and kill the destroyers as fast as possible. Putin's doing some mild torpedo beats here. Very, very mild. Holy crap. Uh, <laughs> he actually asked me to put those in. But now I'm g he's going to run into the island once more. And I'm going to smoke him once more again. I'm going to start a little bit early because I've got 28 seconds worth of smoke puffs that I can puff out. So why not give him a little room to back up in case he wanted to uh, actually back up and be somewhat safe. He can now do that. So I ran myself into the island. Genevni's showing himself I can't hit. Uh, just my back turrets though. But he's going to be moving forward, so none of those shells are going to actually hit. Again, a bit unfortunate. But I start a new round. I start pelting these destroyers. Akatsuki looked like he grounded or something. But either way, he's reversing. 
and I'm also reversing. I, I am putting myself intentionally between any torpedoes that could come Putin's way, and I, I'm, I'm here to eat them for him, because uh, that is something that I need to do. So it looks like I'm going to kill this Akatsuki, and this Nuremberg comes around the corner. Let's see, will I get both of them? Yes, I will. Nice double strike there. Meanwhile, there's an Atlanta that's pushing up. Putin's dropping his torpedoes on that Atlanta. There's torpedoes already on him, but it looks like he's going to dodge them. And Putin is going to get this very, very nice kill secured. Bit surprised the Atlanta didn't shoot down any of his planes. He he just completely obliterated uh, that Atlanta with very minimal casualties. So that was, that was a nice play by him. That's another thing you have to consider. That Atlanta and all the other ships were within maybe, I don't know, like six kilometers of all, all of Putin's planes. So, uh, it's, again, that's something I didn't really think too much of. I didn't expect the enemy team to push up this high and almost a good majority of their fleet is right on the other side of that big island in the center. Again, something I didn't expect. So... Uh, again, just uh, just something that happened. We didn't really pay attention uh, before the match, but this has certainly been pretty freaking awesome. I know this has been completely a very stressful game for Puddin, but it was fun as hell. Hatsuhara gets spotted. Uh, just going to pelt him to death. You do have to lead destroyers quite a bit, though, with... Atlanta, Flint, same, same difference, really. But when you land your shells, you, you can do some pretty significant damage on these destroyers. Again, wishing that I had radar. If I had one more ship, like, let's say, Sneaky was in his Atlanta, or even uh, just something like uh, Belfast, even, that could also work as well. I'm smoking Putin here. This is a very bad smoke, but uh, I, I needed to get it out. Uh, just in case, just in case Puddin really needed to back up, uh, and Ulux, which I think he will do, but, uh, yeah, unfortunately, I believe that was my last smoke. Maybe I've got one, I think I've got one more. Yep, I've got one more. Um, but, so far, the teams are pretty even, the score's pretty even, we're capturing the middle area. But, again, it is it is still very, very close. In terms of... Uh, our other carrier is way out of position. He should be much, much closer. Uh, not as close as Puddin is, but uh, he should definitely be much closer. There, uh, Nagato's on low health. And switching to Puddin's view, uh, their carrier also gets spotted there, too. Doing some cheeky maneuvers. Uh, just like us, he probably got inspired by us. And Putin's gonna drop some torpedoes on him. Let's see if he can't get a nice drop. Coming in from a bit of an angle, but he can still ma manage to get some torpedoes. Let's see, two it looks like. Two from that. No flooding. One torpedo from that guy. Ah, no flooding. Pain in the butt. But. That's not bad. I'm going to be moving out of my smoke. Again, switching back to my perspective here. I'm going to start burning down the Hiryu. I, of course, didn't know that Putin didn't get any floodings. Again, a bit, bit unfortunate. would have liked to ha uh, have some fires going on him. Following my shells just to see how my aim is looking. Because I, I did try to hit M a little before this clip started. And I couldn't see anything. The uh, the mountain was just way too big. I, I just couldn't see anything. So I was just following my shells with the Ziki. I'm going to smoke Putin up one more time. Because he's on much, much lower health than I am. And he's very, very important to the team. So I'm going to try and keep him smoked again. Planes are coming in. I got them focused. Uh, the enemy, or the friendly, I think we've got a ranger. His fighter's up here, too, uh, doing some work as well. Of course, Putin's going balance back, so he's got 2-2-2. Two, two, two. So, he's got two fighters as well, and he's he's got a pretty experienced captain. 
I expected Putin to start slowing down there, but he just said, I'm out of here, Spider. I I'm done dealing with all this shit. And I certainly don't blame him. So I'm just going to smoke, because uh, it looks like he's getting spotted that by that Fiji. So I'm going to smoke the uh, line of sight of that Fiji on Putin. And then that just about uh, reduces any more damage that Putin could have Putin could have taken. Unfortunately, I won't get to him, though. Uh, I don't think I will. My smoke will actually run out. Uh, it's very possible that you could argue... Oh, no, I actually did get him, but he's going to move out. It, it is also possible that you could get a full full uh, dedicated captain, but I just don't have the uh, time or the resources currently to get a full dedicated captain because, honestly, getting... Getting smoke boundaries, uh, the smoke radius could be pretty dirty, uh, especially with this ship. You can smoke a lot more. But, in any case, I'm going to be sailing towards middle. There's a Koenig sailing towards our our carrier, as well as the Fiji in the middle. So I'm going to help our destroyer out. Putin, in the meantime, is going to deal with this Nagato. He's the really only threat over on this side left. Uh, their DD is still not spotted. Not sure where he is. Putin should land probably two or three. It looks like at least two from that first one. And then two more. Again, no flooding. Very poor RNG. Total of four torpedoes that actually landed. Yeah, just just awful RNG. So switching over to my perspective here. We've got uh, uh, that Fiji smoked up. Unfortunately, I don't have radar again. This would be a situation where radar would be perfect I launched my 9.2 kilometer torpedoes into the water get some nice hits on that uh, Fiji I'm trying to keep angled to both of them. I know that the Fiji's shooting at the Sharn horse But I do have to watch out because he could switch his guns around anytime and of course this Koenig is not making it easier also he is making sure to uh, keep me under pressure Got me under pressure. You know, this easy top song. Okay, sorry. Uh, in any case, I'm out of smoke, so I can't... I, I just have to rely on my maneuvering and my maneuver maneuverability. I actually killed the Fiji with the torpedoes. A very unfortunate or fortunate for me because he was not paying attention. And oh my gosh, thank you, Dispersion. The other nice thing about the Flint slash Atlanta is that you can just pelt shoals over this island, which you could not do uh, otherwise. Putin's going to lock his fighters up above me, and uh, I'm going to use my defensive fire. He's coming in with more torpedo bombers on this Nagato. Nagato's getting pretty close to him, so he's going to have to take him out pretty quickly here. Again, you can see there uh, he's locking up the fighters, and you can see my AA going ballistic. Uh, Putin's gonna target this guy. He's got. This is a very good play. I actually like to see this carriers that actually lock up the enemy's uh, catapult fighters. That's very, very smart move. You can actually get nice drops instead of uh, uh, very widespread drops from your torpedoes on the enemy battleship. Putin leads him a little bit too much and came in from uh, angle. The battleship did turn in. One torpedo misses, but one uh, one actually does end up hitting him. Again, very poor RNG. Uh, I don't. I think he only got one flooding, or so. he got very very bad RNG. Uh, this this game. Uh, bombers are coming in. Let's see if he can't do anything. The Gato has decent AA, so uh, it's not gonna. Oh man, he misses just barely. Uh, Again, probably if he had those other two torpedo bombers, or bombers, he could have probably done something. The enemy DD gets spotted uh, on the second ring. He smokes up, and I'm just going to start pelting him. I see that I get a shell hit there, but uh, once he's not spotted, there's an island in the way. My shells are always going to hit the island. So I'm just going to cap this out, and I'm going to charge him. I've got HP advantage. Uh... The likelihood of me eating a torpedo is pretty slim. wouldn't say it's negligible, but it is pretty slim. There's not much uh, not much chance with my maneuverability. Try to shoot over the island. Can't. He's too far. Gnevany's going to eat him. 
alive. Been unfortunate I don't get to crack in here. Four kills, and it was so close. Those shells maybe would have hit. Meanwhile, Puddin is just reversing. He's trying his best not to get hit. If he had concealment, he could possibly be okay. There are planes going after him, so maybe, maybe not. Uh, but the concealment probably could have helped Puddin there, but looks like the ranger is just going to take him out. Let's see if I can't get this Nagato. Puddin had pretty much no more planes left. He was he was telling me he's got no more attack planes left, uh, except for that one dive bomber that's going in right now. Is it a hero? I don't. Didn't look like it was a hero. I don't think he got any hits. I'm gonna cap this third. This third uh, ring. Very very nice. Get three of those. I'm already at 100k damage already. I'm at 100k damage. Let's see if I can't kill this Nagato, please. Please activate my defensive fire. I want some more plane kills because the more the merrier, right? Oh man, these shell arcs are so bad that they they just, as Putin always says, they go to the atmosphere. And of course, the ranger takes them out. Looks like I'm not gonna get my kraken today. Well, there's still one opportunity left, ranger. He is, of course, behind the island. He look He's looking like he's going to be backing up. I switched my torpedo uh, launcher real quick to see how, uh, what direction he's going and how fast he's going. I don't get an exact number, but I get a rough estimate so I can make my decisions based off that. So if you don't know how to do, uh, if you don't do that, you should start doing that now. It's a, it's a very useful tool in game that you don't have to install anything else uh, to do that with. Shells are raining in. Get one fire. Don't know if IFHE would be good here. It looks like I'm getting pretty solid pens. Uh, I say solid, but half, about half of them are cracking. So IFHE might have been a good pick here. But uh, this, again, like I said, this is my Des Moines captain. And I'm not putting IFHE on my Des Moines. I, you use your AP actually a lot more in the Des Moines than... A lot of people think so I, I'm not gonna be putting that on the Des Moines 113,000 carries on low health the is going to obviously take the kill because I can't get a Kraken <sighs> well it's been a great game uh, gonna gonna finish this off and uh, yeah let's move on to the screenshots Alright guys, so looking at the screenshots here, Puddin ended up with 66,000 damage, 284,000 credits earned, 7k XP, 23 plane shot down, 1 ship killed. Not too bad considering the circumstances facing a double carrier game. I'll get into the, uh, into the team score uh, with my photos, but damage distribution, not too bad, 60k from torpedoes, that's to be expected for a Japanese carrier. Uh, 875,000 potential damage. And, uh, I, yeah, I think that's that's pretty crazy. Usually carriers, you're going to get about zero. So, uh, that, that's still pretty funny. This whole match was kind of funny. Curtis earned around 200k. Not too bad overall. Looking at my performance, though, I don't want to say I carried that team, but I kind of did. 113,000 damage, 840,000 credits earned, 8k XP, Confederate double strike, almost 260 shell hits. 46, yes, 46 planes shot down, almost a Kraken, 4 kills, uh, that double strike really helped me out, but the thing that really got me the XP and the base XP was those three triple, uh, those triple assisted caps. Team score, 3,624 base XP, that is, I think, my highest base XP I've ever gotten in World of Warships, and it came from the Flint, what a surprise. Detailed report, 76,000 from... High explosion shells and about 30k from fires and then some mech damage from torpedoes. 1.2 million uh, potential damage fired my way. Got some about a third of the cap points. So that's not too bad. 
I do say so myself again. And then finally, credits earned. Walk away with 730 grand. I will take that any day, any day whatsoever. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know this was a little bit different with a carrier, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, leave a like, uh, leave a comment, leave a like. And if you're not subscribed to us, subscribe to us. We really do appreciate it. Uh, we, we are the reason, uh, you guys are the reason why we are doing so well. So thank you. But after all that's being said, guys, I hope you have an awesome day and I'll see you guys later. Thank you.